Well, good day, guys. We're here at the development block. Uh, we've got Tiny 2 just behind me here. Now, there's a bit of a cold going around, so I'm hopefully on the tail end of it. Um, some of the other guys are just getting over it as well. So that's why our voices are a bit funny. But Tiny 2 here, um, the blade's been pulled off it. I wasn't here for that, and um, I've got to train feel a bit better to take footage of when he's doing things. Yeah, he was down here a couple of days ago and uh, got the blade off that. Um, currently working on Tiny 3, pulling the blade off that. Um, and there's a few hoses getting replaced and things like that too. Um, because the overall plan is that Tiny 3 will be using Tiny 2's blade. And Tiny 3's blade will be going on Tiny 2, which is heading down to Andrew. Tiny 3 came with a... Uh, semi U blade so that's just a little bit smaller um, whereas the other dozer we got have both got the um, the U blade so they're just a bit wider and um, carry a bit more uh, which seems to be working for what we want to do um, so yeah we've got to swap those over but before we do swap them over while both blades are off we're going to be swapping some tracks so with Tiny 2's tracks here um, we did get them all new lugs welded on now just the way it worked out probably wasn't the best decision but we had organized to get them re-welded um, probably a year or so before they actually did get um, welded on these extra lugs and we thought the chains so that's the the bits with all the pins and and bushes and that in here we thought that they had a bit more life left in them and what we've since found out is that with the black dirt um, and the muddy conditions we've been working in it's severely shortened the life so that's why you could probably hear this in some previous videos this one has been squeaking on the tracks which because these are lubricated pins they shouldn't squeak um, like the the smaller dozers or the the um, tracks that aren't lubricated so uh, yeah we do have some good grousers though we can always pull them off and reuse them um, whatever we whenever we need to but at this stage we're going to just probably put them aside and we're going to put some reconditioned tracks that we got. We're going to put them on Tiny 3 and we're going to put Tiny 3's tracks on Tiny 2. Um, so that is what the plan is today. So we'll uh, we'll get into it. Right, we'll come over here and look at Tiny 2's blade. This is the one that's already off. So basically all you've got is that there goes on here and um, bolts up with those four big bolts and goes on to, there's like a ball on the side um, of the track frame. So it's pretty simple there to pull that off but what is a bit more complicated is you've got hydraulic hoses and stuff that go into the front so they sort of go through the, the radiator guard um, and then you've got your I don't always I don't know the technical terms but you've got your big bar there which keeps the blade from obviously going sideways um, and then you've got your pins down here where your rams go on to and um, that's basically it so it's not too tricky um, does make them look a bit funny without a blade though they kind of look bigger um, which is funny and we've got Phil and Josiah and hiding in here. Rat, rat. The drive for that rattle gun. You sure you're working? Yeah, alright, we've taken these hoses off for the rams for the tilt. Yeah, so those hoses go into these rams here, so um, that's how you control your tilt and your your pitch. And then uh, the, the other day when I was too lazy to get the GoPro out, <laughs> Took these, loosened all these with the hydraulic torque wrench and the push arm bolt. So got the stands on there. So we just got to take them all out and drive her away. I know. So about ready to walk away without the blade on this thing.
got to loosen the track tension. So how that's done is in this little hidey hole here, there's a little uh, bolt that you undo to let the all the grease out. So it's just a little, like a cylinder there that you pump full of just grease. Um, and that is how you get your track tension. So when you want to loosen it, you just loosen that and all the grease oozes out and just makes a bit of a mess in there, but that's how it's done. All right, so we've got the power pack here. So I have, we have explained how these work in a different video, but basically you've got, we've got two separate ratchets. Um, there's a smaller one there, and this is a bigger one. And this runs off hydraulic power. And you can just see it there. Just goes around and then clicks, and you hit it again. Goes around and clicks again. And um, yeah, you can, that's, this is how you undo some big, big mama bolts. So while we've got this out, um, we've actually just had to break out the bigger one. Um, this little one just didn't quite have it. But this is the chart you have, which shows you uh, what correlates with how many PSI you're running, which there's a gauge on the, on the power pack there. And you can um, gauge how much torque um, it is so that helps when you're doing things up or yeah, you're needing to undo things you can work out what you need But you can see here for the bigger one, which is the inch and a half drive um, Yeah, that's the correlation between PSI and newton meters or foot count whatever you want So at 10,000 PSI it does just over five and a half thousand uh, foot pound Which is over seven and a half thousand newton meters. So that's for the big one and the little one obviously doesn't quite do as much but still pretty impressive um, so yeah that no, certainly just makes it makes a lot easier trying to um, get them lined up and get the bolts through and then that one will be done well we're just having some dramas here with this link uh, one of these you just got your four bolts that go through here so this is the plate that you put on afterwards because um, your master link is just through there but yeah we're just it's not lining up very well in here and it's damaging the bolts a bit so we've just been trying to poke and prod on different angles to try to get that to take up um, so far not successful but um, hopefully you will yeah be able to figure that out um, so yeah it's gonna be a bit slower than we thought getting these swapped over but um, it is what it is all right guys well it's taken a little bit longer than we thought uh, just sorting out that uh, master link on that other side but we got it she's all on um, now I've just got this other track lined up ready to unroll and uh, yeah hopefully we can get the other track on today I don't think we'll get the blade back on Tiny 3 here today, so that is Tiny 2's blade, but we'll um, see how far we get. These tracks that we're putting on Tiny 3 were actually the original ones off Tiny 1 that we sent to get reconditioned.
other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to take off the um, that idler up the top of the track there um, because Tiny 2 here has that and in the mud it's not that great um, it's an impressive flat spot so they do just jam up in the mud um, we knew this was happening but yeah you can't just keep unblocking it all day so uh, we've run Tiny 1 without one of them for I don't know how many thousand hours and we don't actually see that much of a benefit um, there's some say it stops the track slapping um, and it, it prolongs the life of the track um, yeah look we for us anyway we haven't sort of noticed a big enough difference um, but yeah just just creates a bit of an issue when it's blocking up like this so probably just pull the other one off and yeah just run it without so four and a half thousand foot now we're aiming for the lot like if we had a break of bow we'd have it out towards that other dozer I don't know, you would be jumping off the dozer. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's proper scary. Even with that multiplier, we, um, nah, it's just, you kill yourself, eh? Hey? You just because you're swinging that hard. Yeah, next, next one, yeah. Nah, it's proper scary. Like, this is so good. I think you, you don't set up if we bought a new tree, like, I think it's about 35 grand. Well guys that's it for today's escapades um, now tomorrow there's a bit of other stuff happening so we'll um we'll see what happens then well guys it's another morning we're back here with the dozers oh no well we're just about ready to swap the tracks over on this one so phil's not here today so i'm going to be driving the girl I know, well this side of Tiny 2 is all done. Got the master link back here. It's all been torqued up. They're just going to release the pressure on the other side and then yeah, I think we're only going to back it up about a metre or two and we'll be ready to lay out the other track and um, start undoing this old one. Righto, well we got both tracks on. Now, we do have a bit of other stuff to be done on this, or well, on the dozers, um, but I'll probably have to put that in a separate video. So that will probably be it for this one. Um, but yeah, tune in for part two, and um, that will be involving with doing stuff with the blades, swapping them over, and GPS stuff that we need to pull out of Tiny 2 and put in Tiny 3. So um, yeah, that'll be in part two.